explain the essential parts and working of a battery ignition system. We know that ignition system is a complex electrical system whose function is to produce a spark and initiate the combustion process. The main parts of a typical battery ignition system are battery, ignition switch, ballast resistor, ignition coil, contact breaker, condenser, distributor and spark plug. Now let's discuss each of these parts one by one. A rechargeable lead acid battery is used to provide electrical energy for ignition. This battery is recharged by a dynamo which is driven by the engine. The battery is connected to the primary winding of the ignition coil through an ignition switch. This switch is used to turn the ignition system on or off. Under prolonged operations of the engine, the temperature of the ignition coil increases which can be dangerous. To prevent this, a ballast resistor made up of iron wire is provided in series with the primary winding. Iron has a property that its resistance increases rapidly if a certain temperature is exceeded. Thus, the ballast resistor helps to keep the current down to safe value. Ignition coil is the source of ignition energy. Its function is to step up the low voltage to the level required for inducing an electric spark in the spark plug. Ignition coil consists of a magnetic soft iron core and two insulated conducting coils known as primary and secondary windings. The primary winding consists of 200 to 300 turns with its both end connected to exterior terminals. The secondary winding consists of 21,000 turns with its one end connected to the high tension wire that goes to the distributor and the second end connected to the primary coil. Contact breaker is a mechanical device for making and breaking the primary circuit. It consists of two metal points, one fixed and the other movable. While the fixed metal point is connected to the contact breaker assembly, the movable one is connected to a spring-loaded pivot arm. The spring on this arm keeps the both metal points in contact thereby closing the primary circuit. The pivoted arm has a heel attached in the middle which rests on the cam which is driven by the engine. Now as the high point on the cam passes under the heel, the contact breaks and current flow through contact breaker stops. A condenser is connected in parallel with the contact breaker to prevent the burning of the metal points and also helps in providing the ignition energy to secondary winding. A distributor is provided for distributing the ignition surges to individual spark plugs in the correct sequence and at correct time. It consists of a rotor in the middle and the metallic electrodes on the periphery. These metallic electrodes are directly connected to the spark plugs and are also known as ignition harness. The secondary winding of the ignition coil is connected to the rotor of this distributor which is driven by the cam shaft. As the rotor rotates, it passes the high tension current to the ignition harness which then carries these high tension currents to the spark plugs. Spark plug is the output part of the whole ignition system. It consists of two electrodes, one attached to the high tension current carrying wires and the other is grounded. The potential difference created between these electrodes ionize the gap present between them and thus a spark is generated which ignites the combustible mixture. Now let's try to understand the working of ignition system. When the ignition switch is turned on, the primary circuit gets closed and current starts flowing through it. This current, known as the primary current, sets up a magnetic field around the soft iron core of the ignition coil. When the breaker points opens by the action of the cam, the current which was flowing through the contact breaker starts flowing through the condenser. As the condenser charges, the primary current falls and the magnetic field collapses. This change in the magnetic field induces a current in the primary winding which flows in the same direction as the primary current and charges the condenser to a voltage much higher than battery voltage, thus stopping the current flow from the battery. Due to this, the condenser then discharges into the battery, thus reversing the direction of both primary current and magnetic field. This rapid collapse and reversal of the magnetic field induces a very high voltage in the secondary winding of the ignition coil. This high voltage is then carried through the high tension wires 
to the distributor rotor where it passes through one of the ignition harnesses into the spark plug and produces a spark. Note that another very important function of the condenser is to prevent the arc across the breaker points. If the condenser was not connected in the primary circuit, the induced extra voltage due to the collapsing magnetic field would cause an arc across the breaker points which could be hazardous. To prevent this, the condenser is used which absorbs all the voltage to charge itself above the battery voltage. The circuit diagram of this system is Now let's summarize the essential parts and the working of the battery ignition system as 